regular season, Andre, at the University of Kentucky in 41 years. They built this thing up to be a program. It was not about just one year. They're not going anywhere. Boys, it's game day. It's been a while. January the 1st, last time we even did a vlog, boys, but we're back. It doesn't get any better than this. Kentucky Toledo, it's been the hype. August 31st, here we are. Can't be more excited than what I am right now. Let's get this thing rolling. We're on upset alert, but I believe in the boys. Let's go, baby. Come on, let's go, Kentucky. We got this. Big third down for Kentucky's defense. Wimdani with the deep ball. He's got a big diving catch and he's grabbed it. What a catch, Kentucky. This is their problem this year. They have no secondary. And Toledo with McKinley Lewis down on a vertical route. You just look, Pascal hits him on a bump and go. You know, 32 just loses him. That's a first down. That's going to hurt. Toledo already. I mean, the ball's on the five. They're shredding Kentucky's secondary. They run it to Colback. The Kentucky transfer bounces to the outside. Touchdown, Toledo. They came to play. The Kentucky transfer with the first touchdown of the season. That's a very worrisome drive if you're a Kentucky fan. That was absolutely terrible defense by the Wildcats, and Toledo took advantage. 6-0 Toledo. Big third down. Kentucky looks just tremendously terrible. Life of a Kentucky fan. It's always so fun, isn't it? Can't it's just stress after stress. Gabadini drops back. Outside blitz there. They can't get to him. And he's incomplete, and they're going to have to punt. Kentucky's defense finally comes up with the stop. Dort was there on the coverage, and Toledo's got a punt. Mark Stoops showing a lot of confidence in his team. Going for it on his own side of the field. They go to smoke, and he buries his way through on the first down. Not a boy, Cavassier. Keeps the chains moving. Gutsy call. Toledo celebrating. They don't realize Cavassier powered through. Let's go. Chris Rodriguez, the Georgia native, checks in at running back for his first play of the game. Terry's in shotgun. Second and seven. Drake Jackson with the snap. They give it up. There's Rodriguez. Bounces to his left. Chris Rodriguez. He's got room. He's crossed the 40. Sits the stiff arm. It gets taken down at the 29. And throws his guy with authority. Chris Rodriguez. He's as close as you can get to Benny Snell if you're trying to talk about body type. Look at that. Fortner just gets enough of the block. Good up block there. And then Rodriguez takes off the beautiful stiff arm. And Kentucky's in their own territory. Quick pass. Terry's going to take it. He's going to take it off the middle. Terry's going to get some good room. And can take it down around the 21. Here we go. Kentucky with Rodriguez in the Wildcat. They're bread and butter. They go to him. He gets it. Oh, and he looks like he fumbled. But just <laughs> touchdown, Kentucky. No one said it had to be pretty. But we'll take it. Touchdown, Wildcats. 97-yard drive. Wow, I got, wow. All right, Justin Riggs. There we go. Touchdown, Wildcats. Madani's having a great game. Kentucky could not get off the field in third down, which has been a problem all day. And now it's a second and six, and Toledo's threatening. Our Gadani's in the backfield. He's got Colback to his left. He gives it. No, he fakes it. And he bounces to the left side. And he's going to walk in for six. Unbelievable. He tricked me and he tricked the Kentucky defense. Once again, Kentucky's defense doesn't come up clutch on third downs. Let's the drive continue. And Toledo regains their lead as they much deserve it as they're looking like the better football team. Kentucky trying to get a second and seven stop here. Toledo's trying to move the ball down the field. They do a check down. He goes up, calls out a new play to his O-line, sends Colback to the left of him. Does another check down. Looks, takes, snaps, brings a guy in motion, does it, takes a snap now. Kentucky looks. TJ Carter making a little pressure. And TJ Carter gets the sack for the Wildcats. Big sack there from TJ. Big third down coming up. AJ Rose is getting a good amount of carries this drive, and he's got Kentucky inside the red zone. Terry's in shotgun. He's got AJ to his right. 
Terry in shotgun. Waits, takes the snap, gives it to AJ. AJ hits the hole. AJ's got a chance. Flips. Is he, did he get in? Touchdown, Kentucky. AJ Rose in for six. Looks like Superman on the run. Look at this. Terry with the RPO gives it to AJ. AJ looks, stumbles. That's beautiful acrobatic, but he's in for six. Toledo gets the ball after Kentucky's punt. Kentucky went three and out. Offense does not look an ideal. Defense is going to have to come up clutch. They run at the callback. He doesn't have anywhere to go. Oh, but Pascal stripped it. And the Kentucky Wildcats are going to recover and have it on the 35. Kentucky's defense comes up clutch. First play in the second half for the defense. And they get the ball back. Best name in college football, Chance Poor. Uh, Kentucky with another bad drive. Defense gets them the ball back, and Kentucky lets them down. 46 yarders from Chance. It's up. And it is good. Chance Poor with the 46 yarder to give the Cats the first lead of the season. At least special teams is capitalizing. Oh, it's a broken snap. And Joshua Pascal, the redshirt sophomore from Maryland. He's beating cancer. He's a true inspiration, a true role model. Comes up with a big sack there. Look at that, trying to double team him. No, sir. And Pascal's in the backfield every time. What a player and what a story he is. What a guy. All right, second and 12 for the Cats. Terry with AJ to his right. Terry takes the snap, he looks. He's got some pressure, throws the deep ball. The freshman Bryce Oliver goes up and gets it. Bryce Oliver, welcome to Kentucky, my friend. And he puts the Cats up to possession. Defense needs a big stop. Toledo's enter Kentucky's territory, 24-17, third and seven. The backup quarterback Bradley's in. He's got Colback to his left. Gets the play call from the sidelines. Goes and does a check down. Moves Colback now to his right. He's ready. Takes the snap. Takes a three-step drop. Kentucky brings some pressure across the middle of the field. No flags. No flags. No flags. And Kentucky's defense might be getting off the field. Cash Daniels in coverage, and he did his job. We hit under the nine-minute mark. That was uh, Lynn Bowden's over 1,000 career yards at Kentucky now after that catch. Terry's going to give it to Cavassier Smoke. He's going to bounce outside to his left. Cavassier's down the sideline. Cavassier's at the 20, the 10, 5. Touchdown, Kentucky! Cavassier Smoke to the house and puts it on a 40-yard touchdown dive. Terry Wilson is shotgun. Wagner, or Wagner at the top. We got Lynn Bowden uh, in the slot in motion. There's Ali. They roll out to the right. Beautiful play call. Can he get his feet in? Let's see. What a touchdown, Josh Alley! That is big time, mister! Great play call by Eddie Graham, and an even better touch to, or catch to even get his foot in bounds. That's big time SEC football. Look at this. Great play call on the rollout. High target. Catches it, brings it in. Beautiful job to get his feet in bounds. Touchdown, Kentucky. All right, Kentucky with the win. That was big. They uh, played very well in the second half. Uh, it was a little shaky to start the game. But they got into progression and showed like what they were last year. That's good to see. Um, I like the way they played. The three-headed monsters in the running back core. I think they all played well. Chris Rodriguez did. He's just kind of working on a little ball security. He had a fumble. Uh, he also had one in the end zone. But luckily, we recovered it for a touchdown. Defense looked good. I think Kentucky's secondary needs to get a little better. I like what I saw in Brandon Eccles, though. I thought he had a hell of a game. Um, I think the referees need to pick it up a bit. I feel like targeting is unbelievably soft. Unbelievably soft. The guy gets hit in the head, it's an automatic flag. I mean, you're looking at Jamin Davis. He gets a targeting for hitting a quarterback, but it's a clean hit. It's it's clean. I mean, it, I, I just think it's ridiculous. I think the referees need to get better on that, but everything else was good. Want to know for the Cats? We're on to Eastern Michigan. I like what I see, and hey, let's keep proving haters wrong.